This is Nina Rial, Certified Wellness Practitioner, Health and Wellness Coach, and Goal Specialist working directly with Three Senses Health. Today we are going to discuss CBD. Uh, January is National CBD Month, and so we're going to take the time out to talk about the health and wellness benefits, if any, of CBD. So CBD is called cannabidiol, and hopefully I said that correctly, cannabidiol. It's a natural substance that has recently come into the spotlight for a number of reasons. It is relatively, it's a relatively new cannabinoid that is still being researched and while the initial results are promising, there's a lot of doubt, misinformation, and sheer confusion surrounding it. Recently, CBD oil has become an accepted means of relief from anxiety and inflammation. And the substance's popularity for many other ailments is rising rapidly. As the use of CBD oil is very new, there are still significant gaps in what we know about its effects. While we can confidently say the substance is safe, its exact benefits are still an issue of hot debate and fervent research. So, Let's talk a little bit about the benefits of CBD, otherwise known as cannabidiol. Numerous people are reporting success in using CBD to ease a variety of symptoms, and the scientific community is currently experimenting with the substance on a wide scope of medical applications to epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, spasms, anxiety disorders, bipolar disorders, schizophrenia, nausea, convulsions, inflammation, as we said before, and many other conditions, including cancer. However, the effectiveness of CBD with helping with the conditions hasn't yet been fully scientifically proven and many trials are still in preclinical stage. What we know with fairly high certainty is that CBD has been known to be effective for decreasing anxiety and helping in a number of inflammation-related problems like Crohn's disease or IBD or, you know, every a lot of things come from inflammation. But we're not talking about that. Um, but, like, arthritis, um, and multiple sclerosis, but it's, it's a lot of inflammatory ailments. CBD is also proven to inhibit the growth of the MRSA bacterium, which causes several difficult to treat infections. Strictly as a chemical substance, CBD also has strong antioxidant properties. As each person is different, and because CBD's beneficial effects are still under study, we strongly encourage you to do your own research before incorporating CBD to your daily life. Now, cannabidiol, cannabidiol rather, is legal and is extracted and separated from specific varieties of cannabis otherwise known as hemp. Chemically, CBD is one of 85 chemical substances known as uh, cannabinoids, which are all found in the cannabis plant. CBD is the second most abundant compound in hemp, typically representing up to 40% of its extracts. However, here's where the confusion starts. Unfortunately, the most abundant constituent of cannabis is is the cannabinoid known as THC, an intoxicating and an illegal substance in some places, some places not, that is responsible for causing marijuana users to get, quote unquote, high, blasted, yeah. While CBD is completely separated and isolated from THC, and CBD cannot get you high, 
there is still a lot of stigma as many people tend to mistake in CBD for THC. These fears, though unfounded, are understandable to an extent, especially since the terminology surrounding CBD can be confusing. Uh, nonetheless, it's impossible to get high by smoking or ingesting CBD um, high hemp that has only and that has only has that has like traces of THC because technically you need a little bit of THC to activate CBD, but that's a, another class or that doesn't have too much to do with health, but that's just extra information. As it is also impossible to get high by consuming CBD oil products. Um, that contain no THC at all, of course. CBD is extra- is extracted in oil form and is often found mixed in hemp oil extracts, varying concentration. Okay, before we go, um, I want to go over a few definitions, uh, a few confusing terms related to cannabidiol or CBD. One of them is cannabis. Cannabis is a type of flowering plant that includes three distinct variations. Cannabis radaralis, cannabis indica, and cannabis sativa. Cannabis has a wide range of industrial and medical applications. It's been used since antiquity for its sturdy fiber, for oils, and for medicinal purposes. The second definition I'd like to go over is hemp. Hemp refers to the high growing varieties of cannabis that are grown to be specifically used for fiber, oil, and seeds. These are then refined into numerous products including wax, resin, cloth, pulp, paper, rope, fuel, and hemp oil. Third definition, uh, cannabinoids. Cannabinoids is a very diverse chemical family that includes natural as well as artificially created substances. Different cannabinoids have widely varied effects, with some cannabinoids proven to have medically beneficial effects and others classified as illegal drugs. CBD, again, a naturally occurring cannabinoid, the second most abundant constituent of the cannabis plant. THC, the most abundant constituent of the cannabis plant and strongly psychoactive cannabinoid. THC is responsible for getting you high. Psychoactive. Psychoactive, any chemical substance that can enter the brain from the bloodstream and directly affect the central nervous system is considered psychoactive. And lastly, intoxicating. Any substance that can cause you to lose control of your faculties and alter your behavior is considered intoxicating. Almost all illegal drugs have intoxicating properties, although worldwide most intoxication cases are attributed to alcohol. Finally, and in conclusion, In today's world, there are countless dietary supplements on the market. Yet, even as a newly popularized supplement, CBD stands out as a natural remedy to several fairly common problems. In addition, scientists are staying open to the possibility of wider applications of CBD in the future. For many people, CBD products are becoming a healthy addition to their daily lives. However, since each person's needs are different, we always recommend you do your own research to see if CBD oil and other products are right for you. Thank you for listening. This is Nina Rial, certified wellness practitioner, health and wellness coach, and goal specialist working with Three Senses Health. See you next time.